Here we are at the MIMS muck removal dredge material management area. What you see behind me is the slurry of muck material that's being pumped from the project area about a mile away. Um, it's a combination of the muck material and water. The muck in this particular area releases a lot of nitrogen and phosphorus into the water column that contribute to the algae blooms that we've seen throughout the lagoon. We pump it in here and ultimately what we do is we dry the material enough to get it in a truck and then we haul it away for ultimate disposal. For this particular project area, this material is coming out of an old agricultural channel that was dredged in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, it's along the west shoreline of the Indian River up here in Mims. This particular area, is, it's, it's prime seagrass habitat all around where we're dredging. Um, the channel has acted as a sump for the muck material. So there's three to four feet of muck that is filled in in this channel. And all around this channel is the seagrass. The seagrass habitat is prime feeding habitat for manatees. We've seen a number of manatees in and around our project area. Um, it's also prime habitat for benthic critters that, that like to you know, live in and around the, the seagrasses and all of the, the other animals and wildlife that like to feed on the, on, the, on the critters that live in the seagrass. It's really important that we get this stuff out of this particular area and um, create some more habitat for, for the bottom dwelling critters that we see the, in the benthic environment. So this is one of many of our, our muck removal projects that are part of our Save Our Indian River Lagoon plan and uh, part of our effort to clean up the lagoon.